A huge welcome to our viewers from the Estadio Berra Rio, located here in Porto Alegre, Brazil, and home to SC Internacional. And our live game is Peru against Denmark. I'm Peter Drury, and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Hi, Peter. Always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. moment for pride and reflection as players and supporters stand for the national anthems. the lineups we've just been given. So it's away we go then. Now the pass. Shudder! He's done very well to get to that. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. Out towards the flank. It's anyone's ball. Tries a through ball. Passes it through. Oh, good interception. Back to the keeper and go again. Kasper Schmeichel gets it upfield. And he's straight offside. a long pass towards the front he's off on a marauding run his decision making really is what let him down more than anything else fires from distance well he should have done better and he knows it oh listen i think you can understand at times that the pace of the game pressures players into split second decisions and sometimes they just make the wrong one and i think he would have been better placing that Aimed long and direct, well positioned to make that interception. Looks like a good ball through, shoots! And he's there to hoof it away. Knocks it towards the front, pumps it upfield. Who's going to make this theirs? It's still nil-nil. Looks to bypass the midfield. Well played, he saw that coming. Tries the route one option. Pizarro. Oh, great save, real class. That wasn't the easiest of saves by any means, Peter, and I think his instincts were, well, they were just razor sharp. Looks to slip it through. Thrust towards the front line. Looking to force his way through. The play, and it is a goal kick.
boot forward. That intervention was very necessary. Keeper's got good distance on that. Shoots! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. And out to safety. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Away from immediate danger. And the referee brings the first half to a close. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, I think despite the scoreline, it's been watchable and enjoyable. We certainly had a, a vibrant start, and if we were going to see a goal, it, it should have come then. But the odds are favourable for, for this second half. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. Change, perhaps, after half-time. Denmark can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Intercepts the throw. That's well read. Kia tries to get it forward quickly. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Aimed long and direct. Simon Pouls. A loose ball. Danger averted for now. Going for goal! Loose ball, who's going to get there? He has done it! Just the pick me up the whole game needs! He was so alert to the possibilities there. Great stuff. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worth the treat. Who's going to make this theirs? It's a good-looking cross. And, oh, he's got that completely wrong. His pull play back and has booked him for the original offence. <laughs> Vargas is long and forward, and it's Pizarro. Kia, great challenge. Aga pumps it forwards. Oh, that had to be more accurate. Boots it upfield. Peru have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Mm -hmm. it out of harm's way dashing forward at pace good challenge he just stood firm forward it goes aim forward done very well to intervene and that's clear cut it's a free kick
this defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too, that wasn't quite matched by the, the right way to pass it, only needed just a little bit more behind it, and he was through. It's a long forward pass. Looks like a good ball through. Kia boots it upfield, battles to win it back. Pumps it upfield. Peru get it back again. Spoon forward. Hoofs it forward. Thrust towards the front line. And that is it, the referee has seen enough. Denmark, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Yep, they got the win despite being made to scrap and scrap quite hard for it, so full...